This video is brought to you by StoneAgeGamer.com. Game cases, flashcards, accessories, and more. Visit the link in the description below. Team Canada. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's uh, 10 after 7, Saturday morning. Um, I got Teddy with me today. Can you say hi, Teddy? Say hi. No luck. Teddy's too cool. Um, anyways, 10 after 7. Uh, just over 100 sales listed. I made a decent list. I'm trying to get some early bird sales in right now for uh, 7 a.m. There was a couple sales listed with uh, NES systems. So I actually did try and email ahead this time because I, I knew other people were going to do it. And uh, by the time I had emailed them, the, right the one person's... The one person's price was up to uh, $225 for uh, NES and 20 games, so um, it's fine with me. That means I can just skip those and, and, and uh, try and find them the old-fashioned way, which is much better to me than uh, trying to beat the Sharks to a listed sale that has listed games. A lot of times I won't even go to those sales anymore. Uh, it, while they're sitting waiting outside someone's house, I can hit 10 garage sales and chances are I'm going to find something. So. Uh, anyways, hopefully it'll be half as good as last week and I'd be very happy, so uh, we'll see what we can find today. Uh, video games. Yeah. How much are you guys, how much do you want on the things? Um, I'm going to ask him because I think we have a code for it. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so, so far so good. Uh, that first sale that I hit, I was, uh, I checked out some records and looked right around the corner. I was the first person there, they were just finishing setting up. And uh, just look right around the corner, there's a box full of Genesis stuff. Uh, system, a bunch of controllers, and uh, probably 10 to 15 games. Uh, I had a quick flip through, but uh, I didn't see anything too crazy. But this is the first time I've seen Genesis stuff. Uh, games specifically at a garage sale in in two years. It's Last year I found, I think, four Genesis games at the end of the season. And uh, that was it. So, And this is the first Genesis stuff I've seen this year uh, in terms of games, like I said. So, extremely pumped to get that. Uh, yeah, well, we'll go home and go through all the games. You uh, wouldn't happen to have any other video game stuff with you? No, unfortunately. That's actually, there might be one other thing in the house. Let me. Uh, I'm looking for like old Game Boys, old Nintendo, well, pretty much anything. I have a GameCube. Okay. Um, I just gotta get the unlatch, bring it out. Awesome, thanks. Eric! Can you grab the GameCube that's on the table? Controller, eh? Is there a controller for it? Uh, if it's not there, I'm gonna lost in the know. shuffle. Yeah. Um, did you take 20 for the system and games? The games is up to the young guy. I know he won't sell those for 20. He already had a price in mind. Okay. Um, Eric! Yeah, it's a Nintendo system. Inter entertainment system. Um, I'm guessing you probably wouldn't know if it works, eh? No, it's been in a bag for years. Yeah. <laughs> um, probably does. It works. Usually I can get them going if, uh, if, it, if it doesn't work. I can offer you like 20 bucks for it. Is that fair? It's my wife's. So that Yeah, 
Well, my uh, I must have good karma right now because um, the garage sale gods are shining down on me again today. Three out of five sales had games. Um, three out of five were fantastic scores too. Real quick, here's some uh, vinyl I picked up. A uh, Stones 12 by 5 Led Zeppelin album there and a Kiss album that I didn't have. So that's awesome in itself. That was two bucks. Uh, a bag full of NES stuff. This is just nuts. It's filthy. Um, I didn't see the games. There's probably 10, 10 games in there. I can see the Zelda. That's all I saw. There was one other Tangent Cart. Um, I can't remember what it was. But other than that, I didn't even look at it. I just offered them 20 and they took it. So we'll look at that when we get home. And this is a boxed and complete uh, uh, GameCube. It's the, uh, I don't know if you can see that there. It's the Zelda edition. So um, it came with four amazing games, as you can see. Uh, I had to pay a little bit for that, though, 40 bucks. So 60 bucks for all that stuff. Um, you know, I, I offered 20, but the kid had actually looked, he actually had looked up all the games. And uh, he gave me prices that they were pretty low already. He said they were like 20 bucks a piece for the Zelda collectors, Mario Party and stuff. Um, but I just mentioned, you know, it's, you know, I'm like, I just said, yeah, you know, it's garage sale. I can't really pay that much. So I bumped it up to 40 for everything. And uh, the kid said, yeah, that's fine. So I'm uh, pretty happy. Is that everything that was there? That's all that was there. No, that's no there was nothing. I have no idea. There's a disc that goes with that bottom piece. You wouldn't happen to have that. Yeah, if you can find that, I'll probably take it. Is there anything else there? Or? No, it was. That was all there was. That's all, it. Okay. And that's that thing fell out of whatever. Okay. It's um, it's kid friendly. Um, you pretty much just raise a farm. It's cool. actually fun. I play it all the time. What would you want for it? Mm, five bucks. Three fifty. Okay. Yeah. Do three fifty? Yep, that's okay. fine. That's oh. 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 Thanks a lot. Oh. Have a great day. Okay. Oh. Hey, I got you. Oh. So uh, the last hour things have really slowed down. Turn left on Vickery Drive. Which I kind of expected. I knew it wouldn't continue at that pace, but um I picked up a another, I don't know if you can see that, my, this is awkward, um, another GameCube and uh, Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon was like three bucks. Uh, GameCube, I, GameCube I got for five. It has the uh, GBA player, but no disc. So I think I actually have like four or five GBA players right now with, uh, I've only got like one disc, so keep it, keep at it just made a massive massive pickup it cost me quite a bit of money but uh with the amount of games here i think i paid about two dollars a game for all this stuff um a whole bunch of 360 some ps3 some good wii titles and some decent uh ds games and then uh, a whole tray full of coleco vision games some in the box and there's a intellivoice module in there i have to go through it all and Wolfenstein, all for 130, 130 bucks. I've been meaning to buy this game for a long time. I've been waiting for it to drop, so I essentially paid about 20 bucks for this. Um, yeah, so 130 total for everything we see here. We'll go over it when we get home. Wanna say hi, buddy? Hi. Hi. Game Boy Color. That one, I'm not sure. It doesn't really work all that much. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Shouldn't be leaving the games in there. Oh, that's the wrong game. Yeah. That's, well, that's, that's for advance, isn't it? That's yeah. a knockoff, too. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Weird. Pretty sure. That's a di I've never... S that's for, I thought it was for Game Boy Advance. It is, yeah. It is. I can... Daddy? You want to grab that swiper? The only thing that the only thing that's missing is the like Game Boy's that screen piece. Mm -hmm. that's the top. How do you tell from the top? Usually you can see it. Usually says Nintendo on the board, and it just looks kind of fuzzy. The, the picture. Um, I think I have it. I don't think that's what it looks. Like. Um, I can give you my last twenty bucks for this stuff here. That's all I got left on. 
Okay guys, here we are back at the house. It was uh, another pretty epic day. Um, I'd say it's probably easily as good as it was last week. Some uh, really nice scores, so without further ado, we'll go through this stuff and I'll show you everything I got. Okay, I'm gonna start off here real quick with the albums I picked up. I kind of went through these already in the car, but uh, The Stones, 12 by five. Uh, what was this? Um, this was Zeppelin. Um, House of the Holy. Led Zeppelin, I don't have this one yet. Yeah, so Zeppelin, House of the Holy, Rolling Stones 12 by five, and Kiss Animalize, which I didn't have. Um, this is their, looks like their non-makeup phase. So I think I paid two bucks for those three. Uh, again here, just real quickly, some Pokemon comics. Uh, looks like I got one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna give these to my nephew, he'll flip through them. He's into Pokemon pretty big. Uh, I'm gonna show this. Now. Oh, I picked up Drive for three bucks on uh, Blu-ray. Great movie, fantastic soundtrack, awesome cinematography. Really like that. Um, this was my last pick of the day. It ended up being really, really nice score. Well, it was, it was a good score for the end of the day. Super Nintendo. Um, <laughs> last time I thought there was something in there blocking it. Really stupid. All it is is the power switches on and it locks the, <laughs> locks the window. But it, it felt heavy last time. I don't know if you guys remember from one of my previous videos, I thought something was stuck in there. But it was actually just because the power, the power was on. Pretty dumb. System, uh, cords, controller. Uh, again, it was one of those situations where they said, uh, we have them, but we don't want to sell them. And I just said, like I always do, um, I collect um, a lot of the times I'm looking for games that um, you know aren't any good or, or, or aren't really any fun. I just need them from my collection and that usually will convince people to bring out and I, and I just say is there anything that you'd be willing to bring out that you don't use? And it worked again. So NHL 99, Turok, Dinosaur Hunter, Busta Move 2 Arcade Edition. Very happy to find that. I don't think I have that. Uh, Stanley Cup and Sports Illustrated Championship football and baseball. So 20 bucks for everything there was my last 20 I had. Uh, as you saw, the first sale I hit today was a real gem. Um, what, you thought, you thought that was funny, a real gem? Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's it's been years since I found Genesis stuff, so I was pretty excited to see this. Came with the black, uh, uh, GameCube controller, which is great because I got a GameCube that didn't have one with it today, so. Uh, we got the system, uh, Model 2, a DS charger, which is nice, or a SP charger. We got uh, one three button controller. The controllers in here were awesome. One six button. Um, it's this uh, original Xbox, third party Xbox controller. Another six button controller. Those are really, really nice to have. But here, uh, the power cord. A third six button controller, that's pretty crazy. And then, um, we'll go through the games here. Nintendo or Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Beavis and Butthead, Echo the Dolphin, Combat Cars, Tasmania. All these are complete, by the way. In good shape, just need a bit of a wipe. Urban Strike, which I don't think that, yeah, that is complete. Aladdin, Sonic Spinball, NHL 94, Mortal Kombat 2. Eternal Champions, played the heck out of that one. It does not hold up too well. Uh, cliffhanger. And then the last two are Sonic and Knuckles. And Jurassic Park. So a pretty nice bundle, got that for 20 bucks. System in two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 games. Um, can't really argue with that, that's, that's pretty fantastic with all those controllers is actually a really, really nice bonus. Um, just another quick pick up here. 
Picked up Harvest Moon, another wonderful life. I'm not sure if I have that one for three bucks. Complete. Probably the biggest score of the day. Easily the most money I spent was this stuff here. Um, what do I got here? Two, four. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, twenty. 22 360 games. I'll just kind of scroll through the titles here. Good stuff. Lost Planet, Burnout Paradise, both Crackdowns, Bioshock. Um, I think all three Gears of Wars. Black Ops 2, which he had 10 on. Um, basically, he won five bucks for every, th or five bucks each, you can see here, unless otherwise marked, which is completely fair. Um, it was kind of getting towards the end of the day, so I had a feeling I'd be able to pick it up. I just offered to buy everything. Um, and I and I, I stressed that I was just like, you know, that way you won't be left with any leftover games and they'll be gone out of your hands kind of thing. And it actually worked. So these 22 360 games, I got Wolfenstein The New Order. Um, stack of Wii games, uh, Madden, Dance Dance, Revolution, Medal of Honor, Splinter Cell, Big Brain Academy, uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10. I'm going to keep this one. Because uh, from what I remember, the uh, the Wii Motion Plus control on this version is actually pretty good. Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, WarioWare Smooth Moves, all these games are in fantastic shape. Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. So what's that? 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So we're at 32 games. And then there is some PS3 stuff. Uh, Tomb Raider... I think it's like the special edition with a little comic, Dark Horse comic. That's kind of cool. Um, Grand Theft Auto 5. So he had 25 on that one. Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2. So we're at, what, 36 games. Um, Splinter Cell Blacklist. That's another good one. Relatively new game. NHL 12. NHL 09, NHL 10, um, on to the DS stuff, Lost in the Blue 2, Lego Indiana Jones, 10 on that too, this is the only one you should have had 10 on, Chinatown Wars, such a great game on the uh, DS, I highly recommend you pick that up, N Plus, Brain Age, Call of Duty World at War, Sim City DS, uh, Bust a Move DS, the original Mist, and then Mario and Luigi Superstar Superstar Saga. Sorry, I'm off focus here. So what? That's probably 50 games already. Um, I offered her 80 for all that stuff, and uh, she gave him a call. And again, I just stress and like, yeah. Then you know. You know, you know, we won't have anything less left to deal with. I'll just buy it all. Um, he had some more PS4 games there that I took out of the bundle. Um, stuff that I didn't need. I think Knack was one of them. I already had them both. I can't remember what they are. But um, offered 80, he came back at 90. So basically 90 bucks for 50 games. Those 50 games that were there, so less than two bucks each, um, was uh, pretty awesome. Uh, so basically then, after I agreed on 90, the Wolfenstein I had set aside, but I really wanted to play that game. And then she mentioned she had a bunch of ColecoVision stuff. So um, I put the, the Wolfenstein and the ColecoVision stuff in a bundle for uh, 40 bucks. And uh, he took that. So 130 total for everything. Um, just going to kind of show you. I won't go through every one of these games, but kind of cool custom custom uh, rack here, but there's got to be 2, 4, 6, 14, uh, 15, probably 40 games easily in there, ColecoVision games. Um, the typical stuff, Lock and Chase, Sharp Shot, I don't think I have Sharp Shot, uh, Sub Hunt, Tron's Deadly Discs, doesn't, Space Spartans, I don't think I have that one. Um, if anybody sees anything that's uncommon here, let me know. I don't know a whole lot about the ColecoVision. Chip Shot, Tower of Doom. Um, anyways, some boxed 
boxes here for the games too, or box games. There's a B-17 bomber, in pretty good shape. I think I have that already in the box though. What's this? Blockade Runner, don't have that one. Um, this is in television. Oh, actually these are all in television games, that makes sense. She was saying ColecoVision, but she probably just saw these. These are all in television stuff. Uh, Astro Smash. Uh, as you can see, there's a ton of overlays too, which is always nice. Uh, Major League Baseball. And then the Intellivoice Voice Synthesis Module for the Intellivision add-on. So 130 bucks for everything I just went over there. Um, obviously it's a lot of money, but uh, less than $2 a game, and the games are pretty darn good. Lots of Call of Duties, Gears of War, some definitely some good Wii games, and some and some good uh, DS games, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, on to one of my earlier sales of the day that you guys saw, a boxed complete, except for the controller, but like I said, I happened to get a black controller in that bundle, which is awesome. So that's complete. Uh, the system is very dirty. Looks like it's got some scuffs on there, but I mean, it's a GameCube. It'll, it'll clean up. That would have been great if there was a, a Game Boy player disc in there. I'll show you why in a sec. So uh, Bratz, Forever Diamonds, Mario Kart Double Dash, all these games are in really good shape. Complete. Mario Kart Double Dash, uh, Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, again complete, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, yeah they're all complete, and uh, Mario Party 4, which I can't remember if I have, I kind of have a feeling I don't have that, maybe I might have the Greatest Hits version. So um, fantastic bundle, basically the kid looked some of these up. I was scared to death at what he was going to say. He said he wanted, I think, $20 for each of these, but I was able to talk him into doing 40 for everything, which uh, I was pretty happy with. Uh, one other small pickup here. I picked up a GameCube, all the cords. There was a DS Lite charger in there. Um, it's dirty. Um, uh, no controller, but it does have the uh, GBA player adapter on the bottom. I think I have four or five of these now. I, um, if anybody wants to trade one of those for a disc, if you have a spare disc for that around, let me know. And uh, finally, I left this bag for last. This is the Nintendo stuff I picked up for $20. I really have no idea what's in there. Aside from, all I saw was the Zelda cartridge, which, uh, here. This stuff is disgusting. This is some of the dirtiest stuff I've ever seen. Legend of Zelda found this two weeks in a row. This one's actually in really good shape. So that one I'll probably keep. And then I saw this one. Okay, it's uh, RBI Baseball. I knew it was a 10 game. RBI Baseball 2. I got the manual and a case for Zelda. Some really dirty controllers. Um, this is kind of cool, the overlay kind of arcade stick for the controller. I don't have one of those, so that'll be nice to clean that up. We have, oh, this is gross. Power adapter. Oh, it stinks so bad. This has probably been sitting here, I bet you, for 20 years. Look at how old the bag is. So here's the games. Hopefully there's something decent in here. Total Recall. Mario Duck Hunt, not any good so far. Top Gun, all Snickle Fritz so far. Yuck, Bigfoot, pretty pretty bad. Uh, Dragon Warrior, that's not bad. I would have rather two or three. Golf. Come on, the last one, uh, I got skunked. Goal. So, a bunch of pretty crappy games. There's the manual for Goal. 
and you're gonna see the most disgusting NES you've ever seen in your life. My God, I'll be lucky if I get this to work. Um, no game inside either, of course. I mean, for 20 bucks, I'll take it. It's uh, well, Zelda's in there. It's not a complete loss. Zelda, Dragon Warrior, obviously I'm happy. I was just kind of hoping there'd be something like a Mega Man in there. I'm gonna take that. So hopefully this works. Let's see how tight the pins are. Usually I can tell if it's gonna work. Eh, not bad. There might be hope for that one. But uh, I'll get it all cleaned up and we'll see how it, uh, it ends up. But um, anyways guys, that's it for today. That's everything uh, pretty good for the end of August. I was actually checking out my videos from last season and uh, I did very well right through September so hopefully it stays the same this year. But uh, I'm pretty darn happy with how the last two weeks have gone. Um, anyways guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook page in the link below and uh, till the next episode.